Hello all, today we are going to be covering lesson 9.6, dilations. You guys will be able to draw about a given point, draw dilation, and you will be able to graph a dilation on a coordinate plane about the origin. So our new vocab here are dilation and center of dilation. So our key concept of dilation, it states a dilation with center C and positive scale factor K should be not equal to 1. If it is equal to 1, you're not dilating it. It's just exactly the same shape. Is a function that maps a point P in a figure to its image such that if P and our center point C coincide, then the image and pre-image are the same point. So if P was here on top of C, P prime would be also in the same spot. And if point P is not the center of dilation, then P prime lies on the ray and C to P, the segment C P prime, is equal to our K value, our scale factor, times our original C P. For example, it makes more sense over on this example, C to P is 4 units long. Our scale factor is two and a half units long. So if we take four times two and a half, you get 10. And that is the length from C to P prime. So that's what this equation is stating. Okay, so if we do an example, we are going to copy this trap with PQRS and point C. Um, we can just do it on our iPad. It'll be a little hard for you to see what I'm doing. I'll just have to talk you through it. And then use a ruler to draw the image of trapezoid PQRS under the dilation with center C and scale factor of 3. So since the scale factor, our K value, is bigger than 1, this is an enlargement. If it was smaller than 1, it would be a reduction. So this new shape is going to be bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure C to Q. I'm going to do this in centimeters. And also if you're following along, yours might be different depending on how zoomed in you have your picture. Okay, so mine, the way it is set right now, C to Q is about 0.9 centimeters. So I'm going to take 0.9 times 3. And that gives me 2.75. So I'm now going to put a point and call it Q prime at 2.75. And this is Q prime. I'll do a similar thing. I'll now measure from C to R. And, or sorry, C to P, my bad. And it's about 1.4 centimeters. So I'm going to take 1.4 times my scale factor of 3, and I'm going to put a point at 4.2. So I have a point at 4.2. That is called P prime. Then I have to measure from C to S which is about 1.4 as well. So I'm going to put another point at 4.2. I should add that I already had these rays written on there. So when you don't have them, start by drawing rays that connect your center point to each vertice, and then extend them past. And then C2R is also 1.9. So we have to draw a point at 2.7. And that is R prime. And then we can go ahead and connect our new image points. And we have the shape of our image that is three times the size of the original okay 
Now you can check this. On my version, QR is about three centimeters long. That means that, oh sorry, Q prime, R prime is three centimeters. Normal QR is one centimeter long. So when I divide these, I end up getting that my scale factor, my K value is three, and that is what it was supposed to be. You could also check the other sides. They should check out as well. That one just checked out really nicely in that case. Okay? All right, so our next one, they're kind of arbitrary-ish examples. Now our K value is less than one, which means we have a reduction. D is definitely out, but A, B, and C are being reduced. Our image, L prime, M prime, N prime, are all smaller on each of these, so we're gonna have to test to make sure we choose the correct one. So I'm going to measure on A from N to C, and the way my iPad's set up, it's about 2.8 centimeters. So if I divide 2.8 by 3, or multiply it by 1 over 3, this n prime to c prime should be about 9.93, I'm sorry. And this is actually closer to uh, 1.8, which is not the same as 0.93. So this is not a one-third scale factor. If we do the next one, this is also 2.8. Made it look like 12 over there. So this is also 2.8. This should also, n prime to c prime should be about point nine three and it's about point nine or one centimeter that's pretty close we'll check the other one just to make sure it's not closer and to see is also 2.8 while n prime to c is about 0.5 so obviously our closest to our actual scale factor is B. So L prime, M prime, N prime of that problem is the closest to the one third scale factor. Okay? On this next one, we are going to determine whether the dilation from the, the figure W to W prime is an enlargement bigger or a reduction smaller. Remember K is bigger than one if it's an enlargement and K is less than one if it's a reduction. Then we'll find the value of X and the scale factor or the K value. So notice you have this shape here, W, and then you go to W prime. Obviously the W prime shape is bigger. So this is an enlargement, which means our scale factor will have to be bigger than one. To find the x value, you can just take 10 minus 4, and you get 6. And then to find the k value, no matter whether it's a reduction or an enlargement, you always take your whole length. You're just working backwards from what we've been doing. And then you either divide it by x, or you take this x value divided by 10. It depends on if it's an enlargement or a reduction. Because this is an enlargement, we put our whole length over 6, and then we just reduce our fraction for our scale factor, and we have our answer. If these were switched the other way and it was a reduction, x would still be 6. We would just then instead have 6 over 10, and our scale factor would be 3 to 5 if we were reducing instead of enlarging. Okay.
All right, and then our next example, these aren't too bad, questions like this. You just end up dividing, but you do need to get common units. So our microscoped viewed version is in centimeters while the actual is measured in millimeters. So it says when viewed under a microscope, each insect has the measurement given in the picture. Given the actual measure of each insect, what magnification was used? Explain your reasoning. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to 37.5 millimeters. So then that way, I can just go ahead and divide my actual, or sorry, my magnified version over my actual. And that will give me my magnified or how much has been magnified so it was f magnified 15 times and it does say to explain and I would just say that the actual length times 15 gives me the length they observed Okay, and then once we get to the coordinate plane dilations, I would say these are the easiest versions because they'll give you a scale factor and all you do is multiply the x and y of the coordinate by the scale factor. So in this case, p was 2, 3. We multiply both x and y to get p prime, which is 4, 6. So if we do an example, I want you to go ahead and write your coordinates out. So E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, your pre-image and your image picture as well. So because this has a scale factor, also we're only going to do at the origin. They get difficult if we do it by something else. So we're just going to do at the origin, easy peasy. Scale factor of 1 fourth. That means you can either multiply by 1 over 4 or you can just divide each number by 4. Either way is fine. I'm going to do dividing because that's easier for me. So negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2, so on and so forth. I'm just going to write them out. And then I'm going to graph these. My pre-image was already graphed for me. I'll just have to connect the dots. in the wrong spot. There we go. That looks better. There we go. There's our trapezoid. Our image trapezoid. I need to draw in my pre-image trapezoid as well. And our image is a fourth of the size of the original. Because that's what the scale factor is. All right, and if we do the last one, you can go ahead and start by graphing the original if you want A, B, and C. And then we have a scale factor of two, which means we just multiply X and Y by two. So A prime is negative two, two. And I bet you can get it from there. And then we'll graph it. So negative 2, 2 is a prime. 4, negative 4 is b prime. And negative 2, negative 4 is c prime. And then I draw in my image. And I have all three things I need. My coordinates, my 
my pre-image and my image, and I am good to go. That's all I have for you. Have a great evening.